A walk cycle is one of the most essential animations every 3D artist should learn. And guess what? It's not as complicated as it looks. In this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide to create a simple walk cycle. We will start from zero and go to complete walk cycle in about like 10-15 minutes. But you will be able to do it much faster once you learn because I am explaining every single step and you will not have to do that unless you are a creator like me. So let's start. So start by adding a character in the scene. So I have downloaded this character Snow from Blender Studio. It is free and rigged. Therefore, it will be easier for me to animate it. If you want it, you can download it from the link given in description and you can get the reference image too. Now import the reference image in the scene and align it according to the character. Move it back so that it doesn't cover any body part of our character. Now move the image in front so that we can align the character with the first pose. Now you can align the image according to you but uh, basically we have to place the feet directly with our character. I mean we have to match the ground level of reference image and our character. Now after aligning you can decrease the opacity of reference image but it's your choice. I think it was better before so I am disabling it. So now select our characters rig and go to pose mode. Make sure auto keyframe is on by clicking this button. It will automatically add a keyframe when you move something. Now select the foot pawn and move it according to the pose. Do not stress too much, do it according to you. Because every character is different. If the feet doesn't match the crown level, you can make it directly straight and then move the hip bone. Now select the hip bone and move it down. And make sure to move the feet also to match the ground level. Now select the second feet bone and move it backwards. Rotate it and place it according to the pose. And by the way you can enable or disable extra bones in end panel. Now we need to rotate the feet because it is curved a little bit as you can see in the pose. So do it according to that and move the feet backwards. Also do not forget that you can enable or disable extra bones in the end panel. Now let's move to the arms and make sure you move the right arms because that black shading means the left arm and the no shading means the right arm. Select the hand bone and move it. It will automatically move the arm but only if your rig is right. Now select the arms and bring it closer to the body. Select the second arm too and bring it closer to the body also. Now move the hands. Uh, basically we are making them straight. Now select the hand bone and move it according to the pose. It will automatically move the arm as I said. Select the second also. Move the hand make it straight. Adjust it and move it backwards. Because as you can see no shading means right arm. And you don't have to be strictly correct because every character is different, different proportion, different sizes, etc, etc. Just make sure that it feels right according to the pose. Now you can do fine little adjustments. It depends on you that how much time you take. But always inspect your character from all the angles. Now you can see the keyframe is already added because we enabled auto keyframe. Adjust the neck and torso also. Now move 3 frames ahead to make the next pose. Now start moving the feet according to the second pose and I do not recommend moving the reference photo because the animation will look much natural as according to your character. Move the second feet too. Remember we do not have to be strict here, just try to keep it as natural as possible. And you see that the hip is going up and down. 
सो की ट्रैक ऑफ दैट and make sure to move the hands also because sometimes i forget them now move three frames ahead and move this keyframe behind uh, to zero because i added it on the wrong uh, wrong location but do not do this mistake and make sure to select everything before you move that it's must otherwise other bones will be left now let's make the next pose the pass pose move the feet according to it and it's your choice if you want to move the reference image behind but i do not recommend it actually when i was rehearsing this video i moved the i moved the reference image behind but it didn't help it actually made the animation worse it made it look stuttery because i was following it exactly so if you want to make the animation smoother and natural do not move the reference image Your animation could be bad at first time but trust me if you practice you can get much better even maybe after 2 3 days of practicing you can do it without the image take care of every body part neck torso feet arms etc i will speed up the video and it will meet you after making all the poses Once you have made all the poses go back to frame 0 where we made the first pose copy the pose and paste it flipped on the 12th frame now move to the 24th frame and simply paste the pose make sure it's not flipped this time now copy the pose on frame number 3 and paste it flipped on the 15th frame next copy the pose on frame number 6 and paste it flipped on the 18th frame At last copy the pose on frame 9th and paste it on the 21st frame. And that is it. Your basic animation is ready. If you have done things right, your character should be working now. And as you can see there is some problem in my animation. The hip is going too much up and down. I need to fix this. But there will be some mistakes in your animation too if you are a beginner. You can fix it later like I will do now. Here is a tip. If you want to fix your animation make sure to watch it again and again and again this will improve your vision and help you see all the mistakes in your animation okay there you go we have made our walk cycle It's not the best in the world but I think it's pretty good for 10 minutes right Okay thank you everybody and make sure to like share and subscribe for more videos like this